Rabbi Nachman once said that a person, a person should strive to have as many kids as possible and not to worry how they will turn out because when Mashiach comes, he will be able to rectify everyone, all of the children. You hear this statement and it sounds very much hefker, very much, very like a, a loose, not respo- irresponsible attitude. Just have kids and don't worry they turn out. So where's chinuch, where's education, where's raising up children properly to be devout Jews? What's going on here? What is this attitude just to have kids and know where they turn out? So there, obviously clarification is needed in this statement. Rabbi Nachman is talking to somebody who is already concerned on having children and having and also a continuity and also bringing into the world children who will be upright, righteous, tzaddikim. God fearing. If if not, then such a person wouldn't be interested in what Rabbi Nachman has to say. So someone who's hearing what Rabbi Nachman has to say already shows that he has indication that he wants to have good children. To so such a person who there's not a 50-50 chance, but there's like a 95-5% chance for 95 uh, vis-a-vis 5% that this father, this parent will strive to raise his kids as best as possible, to give them a Torah education, to give them the proper love and emuna and everything needed to nurture that child to grow to be a good person, a normal person. To such a person, Rabbi Nachman is making this statement, don't worry how they turn out. What does it mean don't worry how they turn out? You did your best. You don't have to worry after that point. You've done your best. There's no need to worry. Again, worry is a big thing that eats up people, especially worry of guilt. Oh, I didn't do the, I didn't do it properly. I did the wrong thing. I should have done like that. And that's what really kills people is the guilt feeling of doing mistakes. And this is especially, especially so when it comes to raising children, that people are so worried of how their children will turn out and everything. They invest so much in this and that, and look what happened, etc. To such parents that invested properly, Rabbi Nachman is saying, don't worry how they will turn out. Because again, Mashiach will rectify everybody. That's an amazing statement. That at the end of the, of the tunnel, there's going to be hope for everybody. So with that in, in, in picture, in other words, I'm having my, my, the perspective of life of why I'm getting married, why I'm having kids, in picture, not just I'm here to have a nice home, a nice family, and fine and dandy, and to have fun, and to eat popcorn, and go to movies, and you know, have family experiences. That's not what life is about. Life is for the whole picture, which is the ultimate coming of Mashiach Bezat Hashem. And with that in mind, I'm having children. I'm having in mind that I'm, I'm getting married and bringing in children for the whole picture, the big picture, with Mashiach in mind. So then with that in mind, I don't really have to worry because I know in the end everything will be put to place. I have to make sure I'm doing my part and not to worry and to be happy Bezat Hashem. And obviously in this road, in this tunnel, the parent does their best. They daven, they sanctify themselves before cohabitation that the child should be brought into the world with good thoughts, with purity, and then raising the children, doing the best to make sure that children has fear of heaven. For example, just a nice example is Rabbi Nachman's mother herself, Fega. What did she do when Rabbi Nachman was born? As soon as he was born, immediately as he came out, she covered his head with a kippah and she did on him netilat yadaim. And she, every time she would nurse him, she would wash his hands to do netilat yadaim. And they say that because of what she instilled from his birth, that's what pushed the, the ball to move that led to him becoming who he eventually became. So examples, people, parents invest a lot of davening, making sure they do their best in giving them a good chinuch, a good education. But after that, not to worry, not to fret, because the end of the road is a good one. And in the main, by the way, parents by the, who do their best to raise their children properly, even if, as happens very much, unfortunately, kids fall off the path because of their strong upbringing, they will eventually fall, they have a fall, they crash, and they realize the damage caused, and normally, 
they come back Bezat Hashem. Children do normally come back realizing that there's no good end in running after this world and denying the good proper education that they were given by their parents and the good hashkafa, good perspective, etc. So in the main, Boch Hashem, many stories of kids coming back. But the parent on their part, not to worry. There's, there's a picture here, there's a plan, and Mashiach in the end will rectify everybody.